Hello, hello, guys. Um, today I bought this thing, the Leclerc Cager, uh, or whatever it's called, this thing here. And I was playing with the SXXI for a while now in order to unlock this one. And man, these Leclerc tanks are like snipers. I mean, their penetration is not that great, but they're amazing. I mean, I kind of love them, but at the same time I hate them because of this frontal plate here that's 30-45 millimeters. I mean, I've decided to do a battle with it and see how it goes, but usually it's going pretty well because these tanks are really great. I love them. And apart that, uh, they're very sneaky, they're very fast and snapshotting very badly the enemy in any possible way that you can imagine so i'm going to take this azure to like a first try and see what's gonna happen and then uh we'll see how to proceed uh because basically all the leclerc's are the same uh 11.7 great i love them not enough smoke uh at my opinion small grenades but whatever um i don't know um who is actually playing with them because they're not that um they're not monsters that are to be seen like in, in every single battle you know it they're are kind of rare to see but at at least I can tell you that they're pretty tough cookies to to break, you know. And at this point I'm going here. Hopefully that nobody's waiting for me here or there. But it's kind of fast tank so I don't really believe in that. Uh, I know already where the enemy is going to be. So it's not it's because I'm cheating, it's because the maps are the same always so there is going to be somebody here for sure there was but don't don't push me buddy don't if you want go that's your problem not mine i mean i'm not going there that's your problem they're usually coming from this uh side right behind that house but we'll see and uh, blah blah there is somebody from the right side I mean you can't even advance with the higher tiers because if you advance you're like dead right away my buddy is pointing that direction which is creepy because it means that somebody is there okay hello buddy and this is what i was saying about snapshots i mean i'm using almost never the razor the razor range range finder you know yeah you got it so uh the thing is that um you almost never use it even at far away distances because this thing is like a sniper you know you just shoot that's it I mean, it's pretty much like that with these tanks. It's not like uh, the other tanks that you need to use laser rangefinders and stuff like that. This thing just goes right away. And the best thing about it is that it's the only NATO tank that it can shoot at 360 degrees without having fucking shit, man. Uh, there is going to be somebody there for sure they are usually going in that direction I'm pretty sure so at this point I have seen that there is a T80 right here somewhere let's see where it is oh yeah hello buddy don't cap when I'm here no come on holy moly that was bad that was really bad don't like it at all I mean this guy but anyways just to inform you the survivability of this tank is really really great it's amazing I mean 
the last battle I took like 25 shots and this thing was still alive and still running you know and I'm like where are these shots going I don't believe anymore in the Russian bias stuff like they say you know oh that that tank is Russian it must be bias or something like that I don't believe in that because seeing this thing here I am telling you uh, man this thing is pretty badass I have never believed that the French Leclerc is going to be bad ass like how it is because for real it's it's like I mean you see you just point and shoot that's it you don't even bother yourself to to do whatsoever you know um, you're you're just shooting that's it casually not even aiming the sabo of this tank is amazing I really love it it's not that I'm like French lover oh of course the French girls yeah but that's a different story not for War Thunder and uh, you you might say you're staying at the same place for a long time yeah it's because I'm hearing engines all on around me on 360 degrees and trust me the 57 millimeters on this tank is like um, something that is not really scary for it there was a tank here but it's not anymore there because somebody fixed that for me uh, I hear again another tank I do believe that they are going to come from this direction here but I'm not sure but we'll see uh, we might lose this battle but you know at least for now it got like shot three times or four I don't know how many times but it's still running alive and it's not bothering to say hello my name is Leclerc and I'm here do you have problems with that you know I ha I will try to no I was joking there is no way to cut because this dude died like idiot I can't even cap come on man just move the heck away I want to cap no way to cap it doesn't matter in this case because in pretending to be the dead tactics is amazing at least I got some points okay not great but who cares better than nothing Oh yeah, you're not moving from there, but I will try to... Wait, what? What was that, man? Don't kill my buddy. Oh, it was too late. Man, that's not good. My buddy got killed pretty badly. What about other tanks? I don't know if there is somebody else. Ooh. And yeah, after four tanks and one zoom captures, I finally died, right? I'm going again with this thing, not because it's special, but because I really love this tank. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I can't say a single bad word about this tank for now, because it's the tank that for now I'm having you know fun with and it's not making me mad because it's dying like casually if it if it's dead it's because of the of my mistake no not because like it's um bad like the others they're saying yeah the russian tank is a bias blah 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 yeah but uh, trust me the french leclerc is at my opinion even worse at that i mean much better at that and you can say anything about this tank but uh, I would say that it's something that you have to experience I mean you have to experience this thing in order to understand what I mean and now right in front of me I hear T80 turbine that's why I'm not going anywhere I'm waiting to see what's gonna happen 
hoping that it's not right behind me. It's in that direction. So it's going to be right behind the building. In this case. By the way, this new update is something that I don't understand what it is. Let's see if it's here. Yep, it's here and he blocked my... Oh man, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, why? How? My ring, my turret rotation ring. Oh, it's T72 B3. Let's go with the other. With the X. 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 S. X. I know that you're here somewhere, buddy. I know you. Even this one is having a lot of survi survivability and anything like that, you know. Uh, they're stra really strange tanks, at my opinion. And they're having nothing to do with the other NATO tanks for how they're built. They're unique like the Merkava. They're really unique. Like the Merkava is. It's just made like for France and for that specific conditions. And that's it. Don't don't know if this thing is built to be something else. But it's just unique tank. The Abrams, yeah, I was pretty sure that it's going to be good. T80 BVM, yeah, nah. Don't like it. Uh, something else. I don't have the challenger to speak about it. But let's say that uh, in any possible case at this point this thing is just strange it's not like the usual tank that you're dealing with that you say oh yeah it's normal I'm driving it like usual and stuff like that this thing is just different it's I don't know how to explain it you as I said I, I you have to experience this thing in order to be aware about what this thing actually is because uh, when I play with it it's um, it feels different you know not like the usual T80 tank or the Abrams or Leopard it just feels completely different and the snapshots that is doing it's something from other from the other world man I mean it's from some parallel dim dimension really no joke joke let's see what it can whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's see what it can do F fucking automatic man my Italian brother killed me uh, yeah and whatever anyway um, don't know if this is a great battle at least it used to be uh, four kills yeah not not great but at least what did I got? Oh, this is the S2 version. Yeah, at least we can try them all and see what's gonna happen. But with this thing, I've killed some people, some other tanks. Like, uh, um, never seen snapshots like that, you know. Because after all, the um, Sebo of this tank is uh, traveling at like 7... 1790 meters per second you know it's like it's it's a monster not a tank real monster in real life you know yeah hello buddy sorry but you've done whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hello are you there or not yet yeah they're just I don't know what's happening. They're just showing here and there casual AAs. Don't know. Oh, there is a tank here. This is me. What a sad story. This is really me. I've been killed badly. Um, yeah, and that's this is what what I'm saying. That yeah, that this, these are definitely snapshots to to be. Where, where is the other tank now? I don't see anything. I can't even... <laughs> what 
Whoa, have you seen that? What a bounce. Where are you? Where are you? Oh yeah, that was a nice shot. I have seen you definitely. I have seen you definitely. Okay, it's assist. Not that bad. Come on. What? Where? Be really? Really right behind me? Let's go with the Leclerc one. I just don't want to use my few backups that I have. This is the first Leclerc that you get when you play. And this one was like, I took it and I, I've read the difference between the S2 and this one, which was the previous one that I played with. And the only thing that's different is that uh, basically the other one is having uh, air conditioning system and this is not having it. And I'm saying in War Thunder, it's pretty different having and not having um, air conditioner in the tank. It's really different. It is really, really, really different. You can say that for sure. Where is now the automatic? Which is the only thing that's worrying me now. Because that thing carries 8 armor piercing ammo and from those 8 armor piercing ammo it can just eat you alive just with couple of them just get the hell away buddy because I have to go on this side I have to go on this side they are killing each other right here I don't know who is alive and who is not you can't actually say that but I don't see anybody here at least anybody alive apart this guy here that probably does not even see me because of the man what the heck bit Oh, I will die if I'm going to break that. Oh, that was a great shot. Anyway. I don't know where the others are. I don't hear anybody. I know that uh, the only thing that I know is that the automatic, uh, whatever happened, it can't have more than two backups. So, there is no anything to worry about at least not yet but who knows I think that we made win this battle actually I don't know but I do believe that oh seven kills not bad not bad uh yeah and this thing is actually really really something to to grind you know i love it i mean it's really nice tank the the four of them are all the same the only thing uh is the armor that you can uh that you get um for the rest if you check them leclerc one or whatever is 53.7 tons we have here three tons of air conditioner you know then you have this one which is the most beautiful leclerc that i have and then you have this one which is the most armored version 57 tons from 53 and a half let's say to 57 tons like three tons of far more more i don't know even what is this i mean it's not showing what is this is it armor or what it is structural steel yeah it's pretty nice thing to see and to play with uh, i mean i'm having a lot of fun with it so if you grind it i don't do believe that you regret it at my opinion so this was for today's video and i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one guys thank you for watching